Hey everyone, this is one of the things that we've been talking about finally making a science alert news. The title, a tectonic plate under Oregon is being slowly ripped apart. There are some volcanic activity confirmations slipped into this science article also, so big news confirmation here. I want to go over a few parts in this article and then I'm going to go over one published the other day that is further confirmation on what I was saying a week ago with the NASA planes over the volcanoes. Okay, so talking about the Juan de Fuca plate, it's the perfect opportunity to study how plates eventually get swallowed up and how that might cause seismic and volcanic activity on the surface. In particular, researchers William Hawley and Richard Allen from the University of California, Berkeley, are interested in a gap that's appearing in the Juan de Fuca plate, which may in fact represent a tearing of the plate way down below the surface. So this slow slip event is turning into a tearing event, exactly as warned. This tearing may eventually cause the plate to fragment. They found what looks like a tear more than 93 miles deep. The researchers suggest that as the Juan de Fuca plate turns and twists, parts of it are being pulled off and separated, creating the gap that experts have observed. More evidence is needed to be sure of what is happening here, but the hypothesis matches seismic activity around Southern Oregon and Northern California, as well as unusual patterns of volcanism in the region. Boom, and there that is as well as unusual patterns of volcanism in the region. Those unusual patterns are the volcanoes known as the high lava plains in southern Oregon, where the newest eruptions are at the wrong ends of the series from where geologists would expect them to be, based on the direction of drift of the North American tectonic plate. And closely listen to this next part. They say, fresh volcanic activity caused by the propagator wake and deeper weakness in the Juan de Fuca could perhaps explain this anomaly. So fresh volcanic activity, furthermore confirmation of magma being on the move around the west coast. Volcanic activity and magma movement is coming to the west coast. I've been talking about that all year as the pressure has been building and I really hope this is enough confirmation for certain people to stop laughing it off. This should be enough to make you want to start getting prepared for certain events that could take place in the near future. I'll tell you this though, the next few years are going to be highly interesting. Also, if you haven't seen my video from a week ago, it's a good one. NASA jetliner flying over volcanoes. Mainstream is finally starting to pick up on this also. They even reported on July 29th, Crater Lake, first volcano measured by NASA's advanced topographic laser altimeter system. This was also a thought of mine in that video from a week ago, so I definitely was right there on the money. Um, This news article was just confirming my thoughts and research, but they started checking and monitoring the volcanoes, I think it was in June, so I'm sure they knew something was up. That's around the same exact time that I started heavily warning about California and volcanic activity along with pressure building. I started getting worried mid to late June though, and sure enough, July kicked off. So anyways, they are taking an interest in mapping the volcanoes and talking about fresh volcanic activity. Plus, the earthquake swarms have been around volcanoes. Also watching the fires where they are breaking out because a lot of them are in volcanic fields and around volcanoes. Um, all, this just is, or all this is just things to watch and to take into consideration and take note of. But this whole West Coast volcanic activity that was a so-called conspiracy all this year is now no longer a theory, but a confirmed fact. Just keep watching the activity play out. I've got a lot of people who didn't believe this a few months ago messaging me saying they believe it now. That will likely continue on trend. It'll be really hard to deny, you know, it'll be really hard to deny this at all any longer in the coming future. But um, anyways, eyes on this. Let's keep watching the activity. Keep watching to see things play out. You know, monitor everything because if you look at one thing here, it's like, ah, that might be this. One thing there, that might be coincidental, but you look at everything going on, you know, everything in a whole, and it's like puzzle pieces all fitting together, you see that there's definitely volcanic activity on the west coast, all under there. That magma is moving. I mean, it's just something to watch for. I've been saying it. Now we hear it in almost every conversation. I'm sticking with it. But all right, so y'all be safe. Much love to everyone.